Now welcome to another edition of News from Naboo with Thor's Lightning Takes. Holiday break is over and we're back to our regularly scheduled programming. Yeah, no meme Monday, but there was meme Sorry everyone, I was not at home. It's meme Saturday. That was a... That should make up for no meme Monday. Yes, if you haven't had time to watch the spicy Christmas Eve special... Don't watch that. I was going to say, a lot of people really enjoyed that one. If, you, yeah. if you're down for a good laugh... It was different. Post-holiday it is, it, blues it is got you down. There's an adult something to keep warning on that one. So, <laughs> younger viewers... Stay away. I, I mean, by saying younger viewers don't watch, it's going to make younger viewers watch. So I should say, younger viewers definitely watch it. But now saying that will probably get me into trouble. Anyway, let's get to the news. All right. And or Diego Luna hints as to why Cassian went by the alias of Keith Gargo. Yes. Why? <laughs> why indeed. According to the Visual Dictionary for Rogue One, we know that Cassian used multiple different code names and aliases. He was a spy and saboteur. We do know that. So it's no surprise he started using code names within this show. I mean, first off, we know he, you know, when he joins up with the Aldhani rebels, he's going by Clem, which his father's his father, in honor father, his father, yeah. yes, who had died unjustly, and later he adopts the name of Keith Cargo on Neamos before getting hauled off to prison. And it's not a hundred percent sure, especially to the audience. If that was a spur of the moment, kind of, I moved to my beach house and I took on this new name randomly, or what exactly went on, but Collider caught up with him shortly after he was announced to be up for a, an award for his portrayal of Cassian. Yeah, well deserved. And they asked him why that name was chosen as an alias. It's kind of funny because Diego Luna says that that name is actually really difficult for him to say. So I'm like, why did they choose a name that was difficult for him to say? That's not cool. That's not cool. You would, not cool. Your own name should flow off your tongue pretty smoothly. Because it's, it's actually written correctly, Keef as K-E-E-F. Yeah. But every time I've heard him say it, it was like Gargo. Yeah. Gargo. Or whatever. And it's spelled G-I-R-G-O, which doesn't sound anything like what he was saying. No. So, so they chose a name that he could not pronounce very well. And even looking at it, I'm not sure exactly how it's supposed to be pronounced, but I'm going to keep calling him what he called it, because well, that's what that's works. Well, how he pronounces it, so that's his name. You should be able to pronounce his name, right? Well, that's what I said. Your, your own name should flow off your tongue pretty smoothly, right? Mm -hmm. that, that's a dead giveaway you're using a, a false name if you, you struggle <laughs> you to say, say it. say your name, yes. Yeah. Well, when asked about that name having a meaning, seeing as Clem had a significant meaning, he was very vague. He said, let me think if I can answer that one. It took me a while to be able to pronounce that name. Keith Cargo. Nothing that you can connect with what you've seen so far. Ooh. Okay, so that doesn't exactly answer the question. Well, it kind of does. But there's an implication that the origins of that name will come maybe into play in the second season. Yeah. Well, I think because he used the name Clem before, the idea that is that he's using names he knows and has a respect for, perhaps? Maybe. Because I mean, Clem, being, again, being the adoptive father who he clearly cared about, maybe Keith Cargo is... Uh, now I can't even see it. <laughs> Maybe it's somebody he knew and respected as well. This could be someone he knew from his time on Mimban. Yeah. This could be a callback, maybe, to somebody he knew on Canari. Though you do have to be careful using names of other people. Though, I mean, it's a giant galaxy. The, the, uh, but odds if he of... uses the name of somebody he knew on Canari, he could I mean, all himself, the kids yeah. kind of looked like him. Yeah. So, I mean... Well, I'm just saying he has to be careful. Right, even, even though the name you have Clem could have been dangerous if he was like dropping the last name too, and they're like, "Ah, yeah. he's dead." Yeah, I mean, you, again, you have trillions and trillions of beings in the galaxy. You're going to have some name overlap. We have name overlap here on Earth, and we have far yes. less. You know, even in your your own town, you might have someone with your own name or your same name. So yeah, there was someone who grew up in my hometown with the same last name as me, but their family was not related at all to my family. Yeah, that that happens. It does. Moving on, we found out that Andor got a huge rating boost when the finale came out. Nielsen finally updated their streaming charts, adding what kind of streaming they got during episode 12 of Andor, the last episode of the season. It does kind of seem like that strategy to put the two episodes on network TV paid off because it gave Andor huge viewing compared to the previous episodes. According to Nielsen, Andor's final season one episode accumulated 674 million minutes. That is the highest Andor figure yet. Even higher than the three-part, you know, opening, opening yeah. that they dropped. Didn't get those numbers. Way, yeah. It got 624 million minutes. But then the last episode totally dwarfed it. 
This is very interesting. Promising, yeah. It's promising. It's still not performing. Anywhere well, near Kenobi or, or Fett, is it? Yeah, it's still like the least watched finale yeah. of the other series finales. Like about 30% less. But it also is the first Star Wars live action series to get a 50% boost with its season finale. Yeah, which I think is is a lot to do with putting it on TV. Mm-hmm. People saw it. People then probably went and watched it on Disney+. Plus. Yes, yeah, speculation says like those first two episodes being made to the public, airing them on network TV, kind of gave people a desire to watch the rest of the series, especially knowing that that weekend was when the rest of the series, you know, yeah, came was it not over, so you can now binge it if you if you liked yep. it and wanted to. People might have been holding back for the fact that they wanted to binge the entire thing because you know people love the binging. Yeah, I know a lot of people who will not watch a show until its entirety mm-hmm. is you know released. It could also be positive word of mouth. I mean, people are seeing those first couple episodes or interested in that, and they're like, well, what's the series going to be about? And other people are going, um, you haven't seen it? It's amazing? Yeah, I, I, I'm going to be curious to see what the numbers look like in the weeks to come. If it's higher than, if it doesn't have the same kind of drop-off that the other series have in terms, you know, once it's over right. and the fans who are watching it week in and week out are kind of done, will it will it kind of hold strong or will it, you know, even do better in the I, long I'd run? I'd like to think it's our video that told us told <laughs> people the, to yeah, get their family to watch day. it it's got to be it <laughs> probably it's no doubt it clearly i mean comparatively book of boba fett had 885 million minutes with its finale kenobi had 860 million minutes so andor didn't keep up with those but andor did have different episode lengths as well as different episode numbers he, yeah you can't directly he was compare like twice them. as long as kenobi I mean, you, you can try to you know extrapolate some some theories and such but you can't just say well more minutes equals better or more watch time equals more, you know different like, like i said different episode likes right. different number of episodes let's also keep in mind andor has 12 episodes at this point to the other six which is not in favor of andor if you will or six right. or seven he's not a legacy character so even holding these numbers himself is really a testament i mean i went to christmas and found out my brother-in-law hadn't watched Andor yet, and he's a huge Star Wars fan. He's like, well, huge some, Star Wars fan. Somebody, yes, well, somebody told him that it wasn't very Star Wars feeling, so he didn't feel the need to watch who it. And I said, um, things? watch it. Who, Who's telling you lies? Who poisons your mind? No, yeah, I mean, I've, I've heard that out of many. Like, again, I say it all the time. Like, if you don't think it's Star Wars, that's fine. But it's actually a really damn good show. But it was an interesting test putting those two episodes of Andor on network TV. And then having the ratings increase by fifty percent. I think that says something. I mean, you could have they could have gotten more people signing I, up for Disney Plus to watch the whole series. It is. I, I certainly think it's it's not a coincidence that didn't just randomly happen. No, it's too random to be random. It was a smart choice by by Disney to use their other platforms to get word of mouth for yeah. this show up. Yeah, I, I think that as I've said before, I think Disney knows they have a really good show on their hands, or Lucasfilm, whatever you want to you know look at it as. I think Somebody they they does. realize it is a quality show. Is it is it the best? Star Wars feeling show ever in the minds of some, no, but it's a hell of a show. It's it's definitely the best Absolutely. show or series that they've made in terms of just writing and acting and everything. So I think they realize they need to get this thing out there and try to get you know have people get eyes on it. And then oh yeah, this is actually pretty good. I should watch this. What'll be interesting is seeing how season three of The Mandalorian will perform. I mean, it's going to be early April before we hear those numbers, but uh, I'm curious how that'll do. I'm cur- yeah, I'm curious to see how bad season Batch one will do did as well. good, but season two did better. Yes. So we'll see it's if their, season three can recapture the magic. Yeah. Come on now. I mean, it is, it's, it's, it's something beyond just Star Wars now. It, it's enjoyed and liked in and of itself now. It's yes. kind of transcended just, oh, it's that good Star Wars show. Now people like the Mandalorian. It's a fun, good independent show. Independent of Star Wars, yeah. Which is neither a compliment or an insult. It just is what it is. But the most successful original series overall is Wednesday from Netflix. It's no contest. The series has almost six billion minutes streamed. Six billion? More than four times as much as the series in second place. What the hell? I know. You haven't even started it yet. I started it. I don't know that I'm going to start it ever. I've seen you watching some of it. It, it looks fine. I The Addams Family is fine. I like the old movies and the old show. I think I watched it sometimes Traitor. as a kid. It's just not my thing. Like, I watch them, like, yeah, this is good for what it is, but I, I can't see myself just sitting down and watching it. Now, I've, I've I know got, like, the comments are like, to Thor, go. you got to watch it. It's going to be good. Everyone's watching it. Can't you tell? Yeah, I'm sure it is. It's just, I don't know. I, I don't, I don't want to watch it, I guess. Well, I guess then we can't review it. I'm sorry, Ooh. everybody. <laughs> Thor doesn't want to watch it, so we can't it's, tell you. I've got a million other things what, I want to watch. <laughs> but this one is highly watched. Yeah, which 
I don't know. I, I feel like <laughs> I'm sometimes like you slowly just, suck them into it. I feel like we'd just be jumping on the bandwagon. I don't. I don't want to do that. I want to review something that I genuinely want to. Like Willow, for example. We uh, oh, we just yeah, holidays kind of interfered with them. We have to ruin this video with Willow. I still had more I wanted to oh, talk about. Oh, I think we should do a review on... I think we'll leave it to the audience. But yesterday... Well, last Wednesday, we saw it yesterday, finally. That episode was something special. Mm-hmm. I hate to rip on it. You know, you were mad. Like, you had tears in your eyes. I did. And I you were really I don't distraught. want to talk about it. I want to talk you about my last story. by this episode. My last All story right. is better. Right, I'm done. I'm done. There was a lightsaber spotted on Mars. <laughs> <laughs> that's where the Jedi hit after Order 66. Yes. I mean, it, it's not a lightsaber. They said it was a containment tube for samples that the rover up there has been gathering, but it must have dropped one in the footage, and I've got a picture of it up there, I'm sure. Kind of looks like a lightsaber. It's a lightsaber. I mean, it's the even question, got space rocks in it. Come on. I only have one. <laughs> space, like, could it be like crystals? crystal rocks? My only question they, is, why do they need a lightsaber on Mars? What's going on up there? I don't know. Or is it a relic from the past wars? Ooh. From a galaxy far, far away. Mm-hmm. A long time ago. When Ahsoka flew off to New Space. Oh, God, it's our galaxy. It's our galaxy. That's Ahsoka's and the, lightsaber. She left her lightsaber there. It's this all coming together. all creative marketing by, by Disney. And now they have to go into the world between worlds to go into the future and stop that lightsaber from being found. And people because, realize yeah, Star Wars is real. We shouldn't have found it. Star Wars it never is should a... have been found. It wasn't meant to be seen. Wow, we, <laughs> we've just come up with an amazing plot for the Ahsoka series. Yes. She's coming to Earth, folks. That's the new galaxy that they're all talking about. It's yeah, our galaxy. It's our galaxy. I never even considered that stupid possibility. I mean that... Um... <laughs> Tell us how you really feel. <laughs> I think I just did. Star Wars should never, ever, ever have anything to do with Earth. Ever and ever. Why are they sending us lightsabers? I don't know. Hmm. I don't know. Hmm. When she comes here and sees her face on a lunchbox, she's going to be really confused. <laughs> she's be like, um, why does everyone love Vader here? He was horrible. He rained terror through the galaxy, and everyone's like, oh, Vader was cool. Vader, well, she knows Vader's story. She knows she why does. we would like him. Because he but was... she do, she would want people to like Anakin, not, not running around with like Vader, and everyone loving the memes and stuff with Vader doing the oh, Order yeah. 66. She probably would not she appreciate probably Order 66. not appreciate our youngling. sense of humor. Yeah, the that everyone's Slayer favorite 9, scene from Rogue One. <laughs> Is, is Vader, Vader in the hallway? Oh, yeah. That'd be awkward. <laughs> She'd be really confused. How would we explain that to her? Although, Ashley X time She'd think we are all Sith. Mm. Mm. We've been corrupted by the dark side. <laughs> we gotta purge this galaxy. Something's <laughs> wrong with them. But anyway, I don't know where this conversation is going, but I think that's going to be all we got for you this time. So now it's your turn to take to the comments below. Tell us what you think of any and all of today's news. What do you think about Andor's numbers going up? And what do you think about a lightsaber on Mars? Do you think Thor should watch Wednesday? Oh, I kind of did. I you wa- watched like, one episode. No, I watched like 10 minutes of one episode, and it felt like I saw a huge plot point. I don't think you did. Really? No. felt like I did. You missed so much. Well, I I don't know. It, Like I said, I'm sure it's great. It looks great. I don't know that it's my thing, which is okay. It's, it's okay. not okay. It's okay for us not all to want to watch and enjoy the same thing. Revolutionary, I know, to blow some minds out there, but we don't always have to agree and like the same things. In fact, the world is a more interesting place if we disagree and have our own interests. But anyway, that's way off topic. So take to the comments below. Tell us what you think about all of today's news. Let's talk some Star Wars. And until next time, thanks for watching.